Voters will head to the polls today to cast their ballots in what has been billed as the most important general election in a generation. Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who gambled his premiership by triggering the vote, has sought to focus on his pledge to get Brexit done throughout the campaign. Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn, his rival in the race to number 10, has instead tried to highlight his party's credentials on the health service and other domestic issues. The polls have narrowed in the final week of what has largely been a tame campaign, with few gaffes and many stage-managed visits. On Monday Mr Johnson came under fire for his alleged lack of empathy when he pocketed a journalist's phone when asked to view a photograph of a four-year-old boy who was forced to sleep on a hospital floor. The following day, however, Labour's campaign was rocked when a member of the shadow cabinet was revealed to have poured scorn on Mr Corbyn's election chances in a leaked recording. A terror attack on London Bridge, which echoed a similar incident in the middle of the 2017 election, briefly disrupted the campaign, but quickly turned political as the Tories and Labour exchanged blows over how to deal with such threats. The third general election in less than five years has been largely dominated by the 2016 vote to leave the European Union, with Labour pledging to give voters another say in a second referendum, while the Tories have vowed to take the UK out of the EU next month. A poll by the Daily Telegraph and Savanta Comrie's, published on Wednesday night, placed the Tories five points ahead of Mr Corbyn's party, indicating the potential for a Conservative majority or a hung parliament. But a separate poll by Cantor put the Tories on 44%, Labour on 32% and the Liberal Democrats on 13%. Voter turnout, however, could play a major role in the election outcome with rain, wind and chilly temperatures forecast for much of the country throughout Thursday. In a final plea to voters on the eve of polling day, Mr Johnson warned that the election remained on a knife edge, but said it represented a chance to end the gridlock. Today is our chance to unite as a country and put the uncertainty to bed so people can get on with their lives, he told supporters in East London. Just imagine how wonderful it will be to settle down to a turkey dinner this Christmas with Brexit decided, and how awful it would be if Corbyn and Sturgeon were in Downing Street advancing their plans for two more referendums. Let's stop the chaos and stop the referendums. We can secure a majority Conservative government if we win just nine more seats. Ballot Box, Great Britain, Blue Circle, vote Conservative to hashtag get Brexit done. Clapping hands, thank you to everyone who joined us at the Copper Box Arena in the Olympic Park tonight. Pick.twitter.com slash KO1 for more on this story, visit the news article link.